This meeting is being recorded. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whenever you are. This is another part of Become C Trader Master webinar. This webinar uh, is being made with uh, in cooperation with uh, Top FX uh, Broker. And as you know, today we will be talking about the Fibonacci um, again today. We will be talking about the uh, Fibonacci um, projections. So uh, we already talked about the extensions. We already talked about the Fibonacci retracement. Now we are going to talk about the uh, projections. So let me just uh, go straight to the point of this uh, of this uh, webinar. As you can see, I'm using the uh, four-hour chart of the euro dollar. All right. Uh, so let me just. Uh, go to the lower time frame. Let's say I will go to the one hour time frame on my C Trader um, uh, desktop um, um, uh, panel. And what do I see here? Is I see some kind of a movement uh, to the downside. This line here is, of course, the trading central. So uh, let let's just uh, leave them alone as they are. But um, what we are want to do is uh, first we are want to use uh, the tool which is uh, that is called um, Fibonacci retracement. So as you can see here, I got that low here made at the certain level, and I have this local high here. What I want to know is how deep we will retrace uh, in order to uh, eventually the bulls can of course, resume the initial up move, okay? So what I need is, of course, the Fibonacci retracement tool, and let me just uh, put it on the on the chart. So I need this low, and uh, I need uh, this, uh, this high. Let me just zoom in a little bit, okay? Let me just zoom in a little bit, so a little bit of the recap. So what do we have here? Of course, that's a maximum zoom. Uh, and as you can see, we are approaching the 50% of the Fibonacci retracement. So this movement here to the downside almost hit 50%. So it's a, like a middle, it's a middle level for this uh, recent up move here. So um, if there is no reaction on this level, it's a 1.10 and 10. The next eventual target for bears, because they are still pushing to the downside, is the level of 61%. One of the most important levels in the Fibonacci um, retracement uh, level, so 1.09999. Uh, okay, so that's the uh, next level for the uh, for the bears, of course, if the 50% is clearly violated, right, which, which means it's broken. Um, um, and then, of course, we got different, all the different um, levels here. However, they are not strong levels. They are not major Fibonacci retracement levels. So 38, 50, and 61 are major ones. So we are looking for uh, this market to move uh, towards this level. So what is our plan? What is our plan is, of course, to see whether the market will bounce from the level of 50 and moves to the upside. So let me just put the arrow here. Uh, if the market would bounce from the level of 50 back to the upside. So we want to see something like this. Um, um, let's say I want to have my um, arrow here. Okay, to the upside. So where's my arrow? Okay, let's, 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 let's put something like this here. Okay, and that's going to be um, arrow line. Okay, two to the upside, right? So what I want to see is a continuation of the up move, continuation of the up move to the up upside, right? So that was the first movement to the upside. Now we have a correction and I want to see bounce from 50 or 61% retracement level. As you can see, 50 is broken already. So the next target is 61%. And now it's the, the movement higher is accelerating. So what do we want to see 
next is of course some sort of the bullish engulfing pattern, maybe some pin bar, maybe something like this. It doesn't necessarily has to end exactly at 1.09999999 to the point. It might be something like this here. As you can see, we pierced below the 23% retracement level, but then we really, really nicely bounce uh, up to the to, to the upside, right? So uh, uh, again, this is our main movement. This is like a corrective movement, retracement, as they call it, which is why the Fibonacci is calling this Fibonacci tools is called Fibonacci retracement. Now we want to uh, see uh, the, the the up move from one of these levels. Of course, we will we will choose the 61% uh, level. And if we are planning our trades using the Fibonacci projection, what do we want to see? Of course, well, it, how, how do we want to use the Fibonacci projection is to see where this movement here might terminate. So let me just continue with my example. I will take the Fibonacci, uh, this is the expansion, okay? Or, or like say, you, you can call it like a, a Fibonacci expansion level. So you got this, you got this, and uh, let's say uh, you got two points here. Let me just uh, play uh, with this a little bit. Uh, let's change the color first for, let's say, uh, okay, yellow. That's fine. So you got, for example, this low, right? And you do this high, and then of course you can you can move it a little bit lower for the for another part uh, lower to the uh, to the to the downside to to uh, place it exactly on the right uh, right swing level, right? So uh, what do you want to see? Let me just uh, cancel this one, so it would be it might be a little bit. A um, little bit easier uh, for us uh, to do it. So, um, of course, this is our uh, Fibonacci uh, retracement level. So, um, uh, the retracement is, it, we don't need uh, actually the, uh, the retracement level anymore because we know that the 61% is on a certain, uh, certain um, level on the, uh, on the charts, but we are going to use it almost to the uh, to the people what we need is fibonacci uh, is fibonacci uh, uh, retracement okay so let's just uh, try to use um, the fibonacci let's say uh, extension uh, first this is retracement fun times on x and fibonacci extension so this is the, oh there you go you see this is to the upside and to the downside so um, let's see this, okay, this movement here, there you go, you got three points. So what do we want to see is, uh, this is our bottom, this is our top, and the third level is somewhere at the, let's say this is the 61%, that's the 61% of the Fibonacci uh, retracement level. And if we measure the movement to the upside because we are wondering, yeah, we are wondering where this this uh, arrow line can finish. When we finally, eventually will start moving to the upside, where can we go? How far can we go? Okay, so we are looking for this. Let me just, uh, let me just change this color. Maybe also green, so very nice green color uh, to the upside and not to mess with the Fibonacci retracement. Let's switch it to the yellow again. Okay, so let's say this is 61% of the Fibonacci retracement, okay, around this level. And we now project or extend, you might call it extension to the upside for this market. Okay, for this market, this is Euro dollar one hour chart. When, where, on what level, this market can end. As you can see, we got 100. First, there's 61% of the Fibonacci uh, extension projection. Then there is 100 of the Fibonacci extension projection. And then there's 123 and 138, 150. And there's supposed to be 161 
uh, Fibonacci uh, projection as well. Yeah, you, you see 161, 178, and so on and so on. All of this are, of course, the Fibonacci uh, Fibonacci levels. So the first target would be uh, logical one, 61%. Why? Because we are measuring this, this movement from the 61% of the retracement. So the 61% of the extension or projection is exactly at the top of this level. So that's in case of, you know, in a case that this market uh, will move from the 61% of the Fibonacci retracement towards the last swing high, which is here, we might have a double top. So it can either break to the upside Okay, so let me use another line. What we can do here, uh, we can see, there you go, arrow line to the upside. Where's my arrow line? There you go, arrow line to the upside. So there can be a breakout to the, to the, to the, uh, towards the next target. Okay, let me just change the color for maybe this kind of a line. So that's one of the outcome. And the second outcome is of course, we can reverse. There is not a problem for this market to reverse lower. Uh, I'm trying to find this. There you go. This is my line. There you go. All reverse lower. And because we are reversing, let me just, okay, this is not, there you go. This is the, the level and maybe reverse also maybe um, pink. Yeah, yeah as, a, uh, as a red for the reversal to the downside. So then we will have what? One top. Second top, right? Double top potential, double top on the lower time frame. Okay, so this that's the one scenario. We go up towards this high. The high is not violated. The market will keep moving lower. In a case of a breakout to the upside, we are wondering, okay, where is the next target? That's the that's the question we want to find answer. Okay, where is the next target if we break above this high? market is going up and up and up the next target is 100 percent, and that's very very interesting so please bear with me for a moment this length here is equal to this length here and this is very powerful technical analysis measurement okay this fibonacci projection of 100 which because it means um, let me just take a look if I can uh, if I can show it to you in different way. Um, it means that this this line here, that level here, okay, is equal to this one. Okay, you can see it even even here now. Maybe that's that's better. Okay, and if that's the wave A, and that's the directional movement in our analysis. This is the corrective movement in our analysis. Let's say it went really towards the 61% of the Fibonacci retracement. Let me see if I can actually put the um, retracement level here on this uh, on this uh, market. So that's the, oh, let me just take a look. That's this one and that's the high. There you go. Okay, so we should post to, yeah, almost there, almost there. There you go, there you go, almost to the pip. And this is exactly how it looks like. So we don't need it anymore. Let's just get it of it. Okay, there you go. This is the level. Uh, maybe some sort of the, okay, small small rectangle should do. Uh, this is the level, right? And this is the level we are looking at because this is the, uh, this is the, uh, the Fibonacci 61% level. So you can even, market something like this yeah it's, it's, obviously it's it's like a little bit <laughs> a little bit thinner or something like that nevertheless it is the 61 percent of the fibonacci retracement and you are looking for a reversal from this level so of course um as i said it might be some sort of the pin bar it might be uh, the the candlestick that will hit this level to the peep and then we have this movement here to the upside potential reversal or breakout to the upside. First target after the swing high is done is 100%. So we got wave A, wave B to the downside and, and wave C. Very powerful uh, technique of the measurement because uh, the length of the wave A is exactly the same as the length of the wave C measured from the bottom of the wave, wave B, okay? So this leg here, is exactly the same as this leg here, okay? Or this wave up is exactly the same as this wave up, which is why very often um, 
at the level of 1.1087. If you're using this measurement, you will see some sort of the uh, price action here on this level. So some sort of the, let's say, uh, uh, pullback, maybe uh, some sort of the you know, pin bar to the upside and then movement to the downside, some sort of the increased activity with the uh, on the chart, for example, on the euro dollar one hour chart. The next target eventually, the next target, of course, to the upside is even higher. The next target is 123%. So that's the, if the 100% is still not enough for the for the bulls, the next target is uh, 123%. So that's the next target after this one is violated. We might see some kind of a action like here. So we came towards this level, for example, yeah, if we are here, then we have like a pin bar, then we have a rejection, and then we have again, the movement to the upside, we might consolidate a little bit of, uh, around this level. And then finally, we might have like a big, a uh, big breakout to the upside, yeah? So because the bulls will be targeting the next level here for the uh, for the euro uh, dollar. So 123 is, is the next one. And to be honest with you, we got th this level 123 and 100 are the key levels, the strong levels. From this levels, 100 is super strong and even 161 is super strong level. It will work like a magnet. 150 and 138, they are like a middle strength, average levels, average target levels for bulls, okay? Or for a bears, if you are doing this, to the downswing, okay? So it doesn't matter. This can be a downswing, not an upswing. It, the direction is, of course, relative. So it doesn't actually matter which way you are going to measure the uh, Fibonacci uh, extension and the Fibonacci uh, projection level. So not a problem with this uh, whatsoever. Um, not a problem with the uh, Fibonacci's um, uh, direction so because they work exactly the same in the in the very uh, in the, the same direction but there is one more thing you you would like to use we talked about it last time so if you take the retracement you should see that when you place the retracement here I, I hope that I, I can ah no let me just take this one here no I can't there you go. This is my, this is my level here, but I, I can't, I can't, I can't touch it right now. So, okay. It doesn't matter. Let me just move it back here and let's see if I can delay this one or something like that. No, let me just take another one. Fibonacci retracement. So maybe I will just like negative territory and you can see that when I'm expanding this, okay, you can see that there are some levels between zero and 100 and some levels, 212, 127, 138, 150, those are uh, Fibonacci uh, extensions, okay? So for example, uh, we need to, we need to switch the, the, the direction. Okay, so that's fine. And for this, we want to move it to where is my, there you go. So take a look at this now. And you have the Fibonacci retracement here. Okay, that's obvious. But uh, now you are looking for the extension. So you're looking, for example, 27, 23. Look how, how close they are. Okay, or 100, uh, 161, 112, 127, 123, 150. And there is very, very, I don't, I don't know if I will be able to, to grab it again. This is the Fibonacci. Uh, this is the Fibonacci extension. Sorry, this is the Fibonacci uh, uh, projection. So this level here, as you can see, 161. You see the yellow? It's it's interfering with this violet level. You see, 161, 123. Okay, so um, you can use it as a special cluster for your for your target. So if you have two levels interfering with with each with each other or if they are very very close to each other this is a cluster if if um 
if there is more than one level of the Fibonacci, it doesn't matter. Retracement extension projection, we call it a Fibonacci cluster. Okay, so the probability for the market to react on this cluster is way, way, way higher. Right now, this level here is a cluster, which means we have a very, very, very good chance for the market if it ever, if it ever get there, that this will be the area of a high volatility. Some traders will close the long trades, for example. Some traders will open short trades. Okay, so let me just go back to the to the example. Uh, let me just move my one of my which one I'm moving this one. Okay, let's let's just let's just concentrate. Okay, let me just move it like this. Fine. Let's just concentrate on the, on this this example. What you are looking for is the place you can enter a long position why because you are waiting for the retracement to complete and then you can open a, your a long position a buy order and you want to see the market moving up and then either at the last swing going down again so we have a double top pattern or breaking above it and then going to one of these two levels here. And as we know, the both of them are clusters. So they are strong levels, okay? You bypass everything what, what's between these levels here. The black area here is not important for you. Okay, so once again, you see that this is the low. This is the movement to the upside. This movement to the upside took off previous high. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. Now the market is uh, moving to the downside because this is a corrective movement to the downside. We broke be below 50% of the retracement, right? Of this wave to the upside. We broke, we are approaching the 61% of this up wave. We are waiting on this level to enter a buy order. Why? Because in our analysis, we want to buy on the retracement because we expect this market to continue this up move because this is the directional move. And this is only correction. And this is the directional move. And there will be another correction, okay? How far it will go? This is what we want to know. How far, if I, if I will open my position here, how far it can go? Not it will, but how far it can go? What's the possibility? What's the projected target? for my long, for my buy order, if I'm long, okay? So you can see the first target is the previous swing high because here we can go lower. We can reverse and go lower. The second target is 100%, which is here, and the other target is 123%. The next one, strong one, very strong one is 161. Okay, that's fine. But then those are the projection, but you can, as well use the extension fibonacci extension remember this what this this um, this situation here that was there you go this levels that expand below above or below the level of 100 and you can see the extension to the upside for for you to find the cluster if you find the cluster you know that this zone is very 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 strong this is very strong zone because there are two levels uh, overlapping themselves okay so that's why you are much the, the probability of the market to react on this level is way 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 higher okay so that's the correct technical use of fibonacci retracement fibonacci projection and the fibonacci extension levels in order for you to trade for in this setup in this scenario for you to trade the 61 percent uh, retracement, right? Remember again, this scenario works exactly the same for the down move. So let's say this, uh, let's say we have the down move, then we have the retracement or correction to the upside, and then we want to go short because we are, we are according to our analysis, the market should go lower. The market should continue the down move, for example, right? So the direction 
is relative for the Fibonacci retracement, projection, and extension levels. It doesn't actually matter that much because this tools works in the uh, during the uh, bull market and during the bear market. So it doesn't actually uh, matters how uh, I, uh, apparently how to trade it. Uh, the best way is to use the pending orders, which is all the, as you can call it, limit orders, right? So here we have to use, for example, buy limit placed exactly on the level of 61% of the Fibonacci retracement of the last up wave, right? So I think that this example uh, explained you the Fibonacci projection levels, the, the, the yellow ones, Fibonacci extension levels, the i don't know violet one i guess or light pink or something like this <laughs> got no idea what that color is and of course the fibonacci retracement that was covered on our first video and this is exactly the technique you can use it in your analysis in order to trade more effectively and in order to reduce the risk to reward uh, ratio of course right so uh, if you calculate the risk to reward, uh, it's uh, very good for you uh, if the risk to reward is at least two to one. Uh, that's the very, very good risk to reward ratio. If you are uh, trading using this risk to reward, um, then uh, it, it means that you are um, risking one unit of, of your money. It doesn't matter what that is in order to gain two units of your of your money for example you can risk for example for the educational purposes only you are willing to risk let's say um ten dollars in order to gain twenty dollars right so the, the the risk is worth to take in that situation of course if your risk to reward ratio is one to one that's not that great and if your risk to reward is lower than one so you are risking ten dollars to get seven dollars you won't make money <laughs> trading this this way what so ever so uh, we will talk about the risk to rewards uh, ratios and about the risk management in uh, one of the next webinars so far i just wanted to give you guys uh, a good uh, presentation of this uh, fibonacci tools fibonacci retracement which is apparently incorporated uh, which incorporates apparently the fibonacci um, uh, extension tools and of course the fibonacci uh, fibonacci uh, expansion uh, expansion tools so projection and expansion um, and retracement and projection are one tool here and the expansion is the separate uh, tool the yellow one so what we will cover in the next videos will be Fibonacci fun, Fibonacci time zones and Fibonacci arc. So I hope that by the end of this tutorials, you will be, uh, you, you will be able to call yourself a Fibonacci analysis and a Fibonacci trader if you, if you wish, if you will watch all of these uh, videos. I hope you will uh, make a great progress using them during your trading on your uh, live trading uh account and of course if you like this uh, video uh, please uh, leave a message leave a, or subscribe to our uh, channel and of course uh, leave the thumb up because that will motivate us to give you more free education related to the c trader in order for you to become one day the c trader master that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this webinar and i hope i see you guys next time so take care and bye bye